I'm a Navy SEAL, and I'll take dead aim at politics as usual. Wow, that's Missouri, Missouri's next governor, Eric Greitens. Much like Donald Trump, a political outsider, Greitens was written off after trailing by double digits late in the polls. But his win makes him the first former U.S. Navy SEAL to be elected governor of that state and the first Jewish governor. Governor-elect of Missouri, Eric Greitens, joins us now. Congratulations. Soon to be governor. Ainsley, thank you. You're thank welcome. you very much. Thanks for joining us. I know that you've we've talked to you in the past because we, we showed some of those political ads. What's fascinating about this election is what happened across the country. Your your election was very similar to what we saw with Donald Trump's. I know that you were several weeks before this election, there was a double digit difference. You were down sixteen points compared to your opponent. On election day, you were neck and neck. And then you were running against someone who has twenty two years of political experience. What do you credit your win with? Well, Ainsley, you're, you're exactly right. People were looking for an outsider. They wanted somebody who was willing to tell it like it is, willing to take on the political establishment, and that's what we did. Um, you know, my, my opponent was a guy, career politician, been involved in politics for over 22 years. You know, I'm a Navy SEAL, conservative outsider, founder and CEO of the Mission Continues. People wanted an outsider. The other thing we did, Ainsley, is that we went out to the people. And we did hundreds of town halls all over the state of Missouri, and we had tens of thousands of people who joined our mm -hmm. campaign. They put out yard signs, they called their friends, they knocked on doors for us. It was a real grassroots movement of people who stood up all over the state. We heard how doing that changed Trump. He really got a clue, what more of a clue in what this country is about. What did you learn about Missouri when you did this? There's something you couldn't learn as a Navy SEAL. Well, Brian, what you learn when you go out and you really talk with people, what we saw is how the political establishment and this, this rigged political and economic system had been hurting people for so long. I mean, we met with thousands of people who were out of work. Missouri's 48th in economic growth over the last two decades. We were meeting with people who, if they were lucky enough to have a job, often hadn't seen a raise for six or seven years. Uh, you know, our law enforcement officers here in the state of Missouri, we have three of the most violent 11 cities in the country. Our law enforcement officers wanted right. a leader who's willing to stand up and support them. So you, you really feel that by talking with people on the ground around the state. Yeah, and your ads remind the American voter of how strong we are as a country. And if you mess with us, That's we'll right. mess with you. Real quickly, what did Mike Pence say? I know you got a phone call from him when you won. You know, I, I was honored to, to campaign with Mike Pence during the primary. He called, uh, offered his congratulations. I offered my congratulations to Vice President-elect Mike Pence. Right. Uh, we're excited to, uh, to, to work together, and uh, it, was, it was great, great Gov to get that call. Governor-elect Crichton's congratulations. One of the great stories on Election Day.